Today, we're going to be looking at a pretty common question that involves the math module. So for example, here's a basic question asking us to calculate the area of a circle. We know a few things. Uh, we know that the radius, which is denoted as r here, is by pi r squared. And we know that the Greek letter pi represents a constant, which is the 3.14159. So what we're going to do is we're going to utilize the math module to calculate the area of the circle. But before we start, I just want to introduce you to the math module. So if you go to the docs.python.org website and search uh, math functions or math module, you'll come across this. And this is a really, really helpful page. As you look through it, you can see all the different built-in functions and calculations that this module has access to anywhere from doing a sum to with floating points. And as you can see, there, there's a ton here to go through all of them, but uh, it's definitely worth if you are going to be doing a lot of math calculations to take the time to, to go through this and figure out the ones that are most relevant to you. Now, for example, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be calculating the area of a circle. So first things first, we know that we're going to be utilizing the math module as well as we know we're going to need the constant pi. So whenever you're bringing in a module, uh, there are a few ways in which you can do it. Um, for example, you can always import your module and this would allow you to utilize the various, uh, various functions. For example, uh, if we import math, um, we can utilize for the, the square root function, for example. So if I set x to equal 16, what well, then what I can do is math dot. So math, the reason we put math here is that it actually pulls on the module and then the dot. And then from there, it actually allows us to pull the function. So I know SQRT is square root and run it, we have four. So the square root of 16, we know is four. Let's just clear this out of the way. And we're just gonna clear everything here. So we're back to where we started. But in this case, utilizing the constant pi for calculating our error. So what we're gonna do is something a little different. We go from math, we're gonna import pi. And just to show that it worked, we can go print and we can print pi. And we get our 3.14. So we know it, we know it imported correctly. To show that it actually did import, we're gonna get rid of this. We're gonna clear it again and show you, for example, print pi. And we're gonna get an error because they don't know what pi is. So again, we're going to, again, we're gonna, uh, from math, we're gonna import pi, and then we're gonna print pi. It shows that it now has imported. Again, clear this up just so we don't run out of space and keep everything consistent. All right, so now back to where we were for math import pi. So we know when we're calculating the area circle, there's a few variables that we need. We've already figured out pi, but we also need the radius. So what we can do is we can take r, which we're gonna set to be the radius, and we're gonna look for an input. So we're gonna say um, input, which is gonna allow us to actually pull in, oops, gonna allow us to actually pull in the user's input. And we're gonna input, and we're gonna write a little note. Let's say input, Please input the radius of the circle. And let's face. So this is going to ask them, what did I do? Oh, forgot a bracket. All right. So it's going to ask us, please input the radius of the circle. And let's say we put it to three. And then if I go back here and I go print R, I'm going to get three. That's my radius. So to make things a little cleaner, we're actually gonna convert this value to a float. Float. And what a float is, basically float is a, a way of representing real numbers. Uh, and it will allow you to represent this number with a decimal point. So for example, if we were to run this function again, please input, we could change it now to a decimal. So 3.2, for example, run it again and run my R or print my R again, we'll get 3.2. So this is great. So now we have that set up. We have our R value. We can actually start to do some of the calculation here. So we have our pi, which we've shown before, and we have our radius. So now we actually just need to use the calculation. So we remember the formula for the area of a circle is equal to 
pi r to the power of 2, so pi r squared. And so one of the easiest ways to do this is we can actually do this all in one statement. So we're going to print out the area of the circle with radius. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to add the radius to this function. That way we, we keep everything together. And the reason we convert it back to a string is uh, basically wh whenever we're, we're concatenating strings, we're, we're basic concatenation is the process of bringing them together. So we're adding, uh, adding strings together. I have to all be within the, the same general, uh, same general format it helps it read a little better. So if I were to just say plus R, for example, just so you can see, we get an error. Can only count strings, not float to string. See, so if we go back here and I convert this now to a string, so str for string, close it up, no more error. So we're no longer concatenating a float, which we defined here. We are now concatenating a string with a string. So let's keep this going. So plus, we're gonna add another string, add the space, that way it's clean is, and so we know that the area with the radius, we put our radius is, and this is where we got to add our formula. So if we remember, again, convert to a string that way it didn't get mad at us. We know we have pi, which is a variable we tested before. We know it's already a, a pre-established variable. And we have to times it by r, which again, we established before. And to do to the power, all it is is two of them together to the power of two. And we close it up, I got my brackets, looks good, and we run it. So we know that the area circle with rates 3.2 is 32.169, a whole bunch. So let's try this, let's make sure um, everything's running correctly. So let's start from the beginning here. So we're gonna run it, we're gonna pick a new number, we're gonna go 1.2. We're gonna run this again, we got now 1.2 for R, run this again, and now it's 4.523. 